So today is the last video in our slider series. So today we are going to be making cheeseburger sliders. Uh, before we dive into today's recipe, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss out on any of the videos. And to my returning viewers, I want to thank you all for the support that you have given my channel. So let's grab our aprons, get our ingredients, and let's get started. So we are going to need some ground beef, and I'm using 80-20, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onions, diced, ketchup, mustard, pickles, sliced cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, slider rolls, butter, and dehydrated minced onions. All right, so we've got us a pan heating up over a medium high heat. And to this, we're going to add in our ground beef. And we're going to break it up a bit. our hands because we are working with raw meat and so to this we are going to add in our salt garlic powder and black pepper so we are going to cook this for about five or ten minutes till uh, the ground beef is no longer pink and then we're also going to drain off any drippings So what we've done is we put our slider bottoms into a oven safe baking dish. And what I did was I had this in the oven and toasted them up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure all of our sliders have cheese on the bottom. All right, let me get this out the way. And next, we are going to top these with our um, ground beef mixture. And try not to make too big of a mess. But we all know how that goes. Now we are going to top this with our shredded cheddar cheese. And if you want, you could have cooked the onions in um, the hamburger meat, but I prefer that little bit of extra crunch.
And now we're going to top this with our pickles. And I generally try to get about one or two pickles per slider. But that's completely up to you. with our ketchup. And to our butter, we're going to add in our minced onions, our dehydrated minced onions. <coughs> Give that a bit of a stir. And then we're just going to brush this on top. into a 350 degree preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes till everything's hot and all the cheese is melted. Okay, so these have been cooking for a good 20 minutes and the tops are nice and toasted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get us some sliders here. Try not to burn ourselves. And there we go. These are hot and tasty. Mm. Little bits on the side are really good too. So this is the last um, of our slider series videos. Mm. So if you enjoy these type of videos where I do a series of them, please let me know. And I wanted to thank everybody for watching and for each and every one of you who have helped support my channel. As always, remember to be nice and be kind because it may change someone's day. And as always, enjoy cooking in the kitchen. Till next time.